Welcome to Soul Awesome Games, Golden People. I'm Rob. We're playing King's Quest, A Night to Remember, Chapter 1. Uh, we need to move this big old rock here. Well, we've got to go to the Floating Island, first of all. And, uh, Floating Island only steps away. We're going to follow the signs this time. We're going to do these strength tests, a test of strength against uh, Chubsy Wubsy, Acorn. See who is stronger. And then somehow, once we pass this, we're going to lift that rock up and get bitter root. Alright, so is it ready? Can we do this thing? Can we come over? Get over here. We're waiting. How the heck? We used all the rats, so figure it out. Figure it out. Okay, it's not looking like we're going to... Thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot. Oh, that's gonna help, is it? I can't blow this horn. I guess we're not doing the strength test yet. I don't know, man. Clearly, we're not getting across there yet. We have nothing to get across there. Let's, uh... Find something else. Let's check out the B area again. Don't turn right. We're gonna turn right here. We ruined this picnic before. Got bees. Uh, what if we use the fruit picker to grab the beehive? Oh, look at that! Go away, bees! Get out of here! My and we have got this letter. You buy everything. I might not have enough money for a ring yet, but I just can't wait any longer. Will you be mine forever? I better put this back. So cool. That's great that we did that. But. Oh, can we take the plate? Someone had set the scene oh, no. for a lovely evening. Gotta be something we can do here. We need food or something. Well, we got rid of our fruit picker at least. If we shake this tree again. So we successfully got these starberries and get the bees off. So cool beans for that. We found a use for that fruit picker. But now what? Now what the hell do we do? Uh, what is up here again? Let's suss out this way. And then we'll go find the uh, a speed challenge. So now this guy's gone. Oh, he caught the uh, the little dude there. How do I help you out, man? I don't know how I get you and save you, buddy. Oh, now that I can shoot, now's my time to shine, right? Don't fail from depression, man. Yeah, you got skills, buddy. How you doing, Goat? You alright there? Been a straight shooter, but a chaka opened my eyes. They right. did. That one wasn't that bad. Well, thank you. And we're on the other side. Ta-da! So how do we help you, Goat? What's your deal? You want an eye? You want a bell? He's chilling now. That's cool, dude. That's cool. Oh, I don't want you to go back. I don't want you to go back. I just wanted to see if that was, uh... Normally it has, like, the little running symbol to say you're going somewhere. So I assumed you were going to take the rope with you. Maybe we can use a boulder to knock down another boulder. Oh, I got hit by a rock? Are you kidding me? Who does that? Who the hell threw a rock at me, eh? That was weird. I will apparently shoot you. If I see you. Oh, 
Oh, crap. These things are alive. Like crab monsters. They're everywhere. We just got jowered. Just keep walking, man. Maybe you don't turn around. You guys good or bad? How did you take out all those goblins? Probably you bad. Or You'll have to wait and see. Back up. Who wants some? Yeah, I finished the job, man. I'll muck around. Get up, you down. Oh, you're quick, man. You're quick. Get out of here. You want some too, goblet man? Oh, crap. In the face. You get up, you're dead. Oh, they just keep coming. They're everywhere. Oh no! Probably we died. But I didn't miss that take out shot. All those goblins. With swiftness or patience, you'll have to wait and see. By gunning them all in the face. It's our best strategy here. Come on, man! You can take him down. He got this. Any with spears go first. Thanks to a chuck of showing us how to shoot, right? Oh, that one got away. What's up, buddy? Time for you rocks to roll. Boy, that is your name, right? Boy, sure, why not? Shining spars. Where did you learn to shoot like that? Now, I'm not a native goblin tongue, but I'm pretty sure I made out the words unicorns and majestic museum. Mr. Fancy Cakes is too barbarous for a caged life. Listen, I want to sincerely apologize for my pilfery sausages and thank you for saving me. You're welcome, man. But give me back my money. You dirty. Merchant, no problem, no problem at all. I'll go oh, Mel Gibson on you, man. One, two, three, four, one. There you go. I take that. I'll give you more, but those hoarding goblins looted my cart. And since we are all square, I have a favor to ask of you. Can you deliver this rare and miraculous ingredient to that amateur magic shop in town? It's a snoozing leaf. Be careful transporting it, though. Once Mr. Fancy Cakes ate one of these snoozing leaves and was knocked out cold for days. Well, gotta run. Good thing these shorts breathe so well. Thanks again, boy. I won't forget this. Sudden Auraria. Right. Well, we got another you coin. Remember that? Ha! The merchant immediately forgot that. And now let's have a look around. We just killed a bunch of goblins. Apparently, that's pretty brutal. Pretty badass, Graham. Man, for a dude who's so pathetic, you just straight up murdered a bunch of uh, goblin people who were going to kill you. So it was self-defense. I can accept that, man. But you did murder him. So what do we got? We got another coin. And a snoozing leaf for deliver delivery to the hobble pots. So I wonder if we can use that without delivering it. Because we want to catch a frog. Maybe we can give the feather to a frog and make him fall asleep. Either way, I'm starting to suspect the pie tin that uh, we're going to go get is actually going to be our raft across. That is my suspicion here. And I guess we'll find out pretty damn soon. Because we got the coin, we got the ingredients. Now we're just going to go buy it. I'm not sure what that goat's up to. He's just chilling out eating meat. I didn't know goats ate meat. How you doing, little fella? I wish I could help you, but... Uh... Apparently, I gotta find a way around to you. Can't go in that cave, it's too dark. Travel on down here. 
So I think we'll go deliver all this stuff. We'll go to town and deliver what we've got. I wonder what the eyeball is for. Why do we still need that? How you doing, fella? And we got... Do we still have... We still got the bells as well. I don't know what the bells are for. Just clogging up our inventory. Hello, hello, happy chappies. Let's go buy a pie. How you doing, man? I will take one pie, please. Apparently I'm not close enough because I walk so slow in stores. Give me the pie. Oh, thanks for the patronage. Share this pie with a friend or two. Holy or three. crap. <laughs> and good luck in the tournament. Just Felix the cat, that thing. All right, so we got a giant pie. A oh, you might need a few more friends to share that with. You said you ate one all by yourself. Uh, so what friends do we want to give this to? Share it with? I don't know. The frogs? Maybe the frogs. Suspicious now. I don't know. We need someone to eat this pie. I think it's the frogs or the squirrels. Hey, how you doing, happy chappies? I have. This oh, for you. is finally here. Well, part of it anyway. Chester, remind me to leave a poor review for that merchant on the town board. You need a frog oh, still, right? This should do the trick. Mm. It's close, but it still needs that frog's breath. Well, I'm glad I could help further it along. Yes, and as a token of our appreciation, Ooh, we'd what like we get? Bitter root? This, this, um, this? This vial of hypnotic powder. Hypnotic powder? Oh, it's expired. It can work. It was just never finished. Let me guess. What's missing? missing lollipop root. Or baby's tears. I can bring you a tub to Mr. Fancy Cakes for... Nope. It just needs raisins. Yeah. Thanks. I guess. Where the hell do I get raisins from? Always something, isn't it, man? Always something. Gosh darn it. Okay, let's go and feed some peeps this delicious pie. Needs raisins to work. Gigantic pie. Alright, this is getting crazier and crazier now. Family of squirrels, would you like to share my pie? I never waste food. Oh, you gotta think about food, don't you, man? Though, there is, I mean, there is the, uh, you know, I'm not gonna try it on the frogs. I don't think it's, I think it's kind of dumb. We'll go straight to the dining area where the, uh, the, the food is set up, like all the plates and stuff. That's clearly ready to eat. So if I put down a pie, maybe some friends will come along and eat the pie with me. We still haven't gone right. We'll go, we'll get there. We'll go there after this. If this fails, we'll go that direction and suss that area out. How you doing, chief? Staying strong, B-Man? Nice outfit. Right. So, we'll just go over here. And in here. You really need to, like, I don't know, run or something, man. So let's see if people come. Will people come and eat food with us? See, now I can't even look at this area. It's weird. Okay, I... I guess this is not the area to share a pie with people. So that's that's that then. That's that. Sorted. Not there. We'll continue on down across the bridge. See if we can try our pie there. Where the hell are we going to find raisins? I do not know what that trap is for. It'll all, it'll all come together. I'm just hoping there's not a point where we just get stuck. We're just like, ah, damn it. Don't know what to do, don't know where to use what. And off we go in this direction. What? Can't go this way, right? Oh, crap. Whoa! 
Whoa, big fella, hello. Holy jeez Louise, you are humongous. Hi. Hasn't anyone told you it's not polite to go stomping around on people's backs? Give me one good reason not to gobble you up right now. I got a pie. If you let me go, I can return to you with bundles of royal food. You see, I I'm training to be a knight. If you release me, I'll make sure the king rewards you for your troubles. Hmm. You're a little scrawny for a knight. A long neck and a silly feather like that. <laughs> Are you sure you aren't a goose? Yes, I am quite sure I am not a goose. The That's wit. That's exactly what a goose would say. No, a goose Lucky would say he's a goose. You, Ulfie hates the taste of goose. The feathers are bad for digestion. Now, what do you want from Ulfie, Goosey? Um, what are these weird instruments? Tell me about these. What are these weird instruments around the bridges for? Usually those horns are used to summon its associated bridge troll to fill the gap. But we have removed all mouthpieces until we get word from the head of the guild. Ulfie was instructed to keep all his horns hidden from humans. I keep buying under my butt. Shh. Right. Is there any way you could let me cross? Mm, I'm not supposed to do this, but Ulfie needs to pick me up. If you bring Ulfie back a snack to satisfy his sweet Oh, tooth, I got one, man. Ulfie might consider letting little Goosey pass. I got a big ass pie for you, buddy. Now tell me why the bridge is on out, even though you already explained that already. Can you share with me why all the bridges seem to be missing in Daventry? Well, little Goosey, until further notice, the Bridge Troll Guild is officially on strike. For too long have we, the bridges, have been stomped on by sharp-pointed shoes of the puny guards. And do they care that my back breaks out in an itchy rash from all that marching? Of course not! As Pilar says, for shame, Daventry. We're not going back to work until the kingdom can take better care of their roads. I should be at the meeting, but Ophi always shows up fashionably late, <laughs> right when the croissants are served. All right, that well. Sense. Waddle back briskly, Goosey. Ophi is starving. I know, man. It's okay. Here you go. Here you go. Have this humongous pie. Perfect. This isn't the date. You get any funny ideas? We get the whole tray too. Thanks for the momentary lapse in conversation. Ulfie was unquestionably hangry. Now that I am refurbished, I'll allow you to cross. Though a quick-footed peacock already got to that snarling snarlax. Oh, I almost forgot, Goosey. For your act of kindness, Alfie would like you to have this. Whenever you need me, just give it a blow. Wonderful! So I can go and do the strength challenge now. Step lively. Alfie needs to get back to the guild meeting. It's almost croissant time. Thank you very much, my giant friend. Let's have an explore around on this side. Oh, I love this game. It's so paced well. This is so much fun. Getting Is that tired a of golden that egg? Hey, my coin! Oh, we got a coin. Oh, we got another coin. As long as he knows the password, you have to let him in. It better come soon. We got giants chatting over there. Where does he keep disappearing to? I wish Ulfie would stay put. This meeting is already way over schedule. Ulfie's in a gotta have a meeting with people. Uh oh. Maybe I could beat someone to the meeting and hear the password. Nice of you to finally join us, Olfi. Merci. Olfi apologizes for tardiness. I, uh, was, uh... Oh, so our inventory expands. That's good. How do I get to the meeting? Hurry up, Goosey. Alfie has to get back to the guild meeting. He is a weak link. I 
I'm starting to question his commitment to our guild. Okay, so I gotta get down there somehow. I don't think I can do that just yet. Maybe I could beat someone to the meeting and hear the password. At some point, we will do that. Let's continue on. Let's carry on for now. See what's this way? Is this a dark way? Can we go this way? Ooh, that's spooky ass woods. We ain't going that way. Woods were far too dark to risk taking another step forward. Okay, so let's examine what we have. What could help us here? We've got hypnotic potion, the horn, portrait of whisper, a bell, and a coin. What the hell do we do now? Well, I guess we'll go to the test of strength. We'll call Ulfie over, and then he should come help us get over there. So we'll go that way. Okay, I don't think we can get down to hear the password that he gives in the meeting. Hurry up, Goosey. Ulfie has to get back to the guild meeting. I know, buddy. But I need your help. We're going to go head off to the uh, strength challenge and see how we go in that. Still guarding that post. We're going well. I think we're doing well. This actually is quite a long part. Uh, I'm so used to these, like, I guess, episodic games to be like two, three hours. Now, uh, this one seems like it might have a fair chunk of content for once. It's always good. Worth your money. The download was huge. I mean, those episode of games are usually played. They're like 2 gigs or something. This one was a meaty 11 gigs. So there is a... Uh, there's a lot in it. Alright, so we can call our buddy. We'll give him a good old horn. Where come? I'm coming, man. That's actually really cool. That sounds like the Hobbit horn. Welcome, buddy. All right, look at that. Ah, I got a bridge, jerks. Thank you very much, Ophie. How do you like them apples, huh? Let's have a look around. What's on the other side here? That is a fancy horn. What if I try my mouthpiece on that one? And another missing piece. Does this fit on it? No, it definitely does not. So we need different mouthpieces for different horns. Climbing on up. What's up, jerks? How you doing? Hey. Right. Are you ready to begin? Uh, what are the rules? Exactly are the rules? The rules are simple. For a change, if you can stay dry, you win. Right on. Uh, we're going to do this in the next part. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And we'll do the strength challenge test, whatever the hell it's called. Now we're gonna stay dry. We're gonna bridge, friends, so we'll be fine, right? Pardon me. Oh, don't be an ass. Don't be that guy. I can't swim, man. What's wrong with these guys? I hate them all already. <laughs>